Good evening, good evening. We are currently live on both our Zoom platform as well as our Facebook Live. Greetings to those who have joined us thus far on our Zoom. And of course, those who are coming up on our Facebook Live feed. Come on in. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. God bless you all who are coming in. Yeah. And as you're coming in, like, comment, and share. Y'all know the drill. Come on in. Facebook Live, we pray all is well. Hi, Two TV. Great Come on day. In. Peaceful day. Amen, amen. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. We're ecstatic to have you all joining in with us. Sister Hi, Maxine Sister Maxine Wallace. Lisa, Sister Betty Thomas. Texas. God bless you. Sister Betty Thomas. God bless you. God bless you. We have Sis Connie, we have uh, Mother, we have, I think that's Sis Bernice. God bless you, Sis Bernice. Come on God in. bless you, God bless you. That's a glorious evening. And there's some other numbers that I'm not recognizing, but good evening to you all. Miss Marcia Williams. Come on in, come on in. Like, comment, and share as you are coming in. Come on in. Yes. Sister Kamika Stevenson, God bless Come you. On, and Jermaine Stevenson. And the household. Wanda August. Sister KKY. Wanda August. Bessie of Downsville, 1590. The Angel of Faith. Deputy Wanda August. The Miss. Make it happen. Come on in. Come on in. Hi, Sister Lysandra. Good evening. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. Sis Valentine, Sister Valentine and Brother Valentine. Valentine. Pray all this well. And Amen. Brother Valentine, God bless you. Y'all come on in, come on in. We bid you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This kind of as she always does, she's on a coverable basis. Kind of. She's on Zoom as well as on Facebook. Come on in, come on in. Evangelist has checked in. God bless you. Y'all come on in. If you want to get your Bibles and devices uh, together. Uh, Mr. Hudson, God bless you, God bless you. Hi, sis, uh, Melissa, sis, uh, Dolores, Dolores Ivy. Sis Dolores Ivy, God bless you, God bless you, sister Denise Sanders. Sis Audrey Augusta. Sis Augusta, God bless you, sis Augusta. If y'all want to get your Bibles and devices together, as I was indicating, we are coming out of Acts, the 15th chapter. We're going to cover the 15th chapter, and we're going to kind of pivot. To um, as much as we possibly can as we deal with yes. certain issues and uh, problems that it arise within the church and the body of Christ and how to, to resolve these issues at the same time knowing that where they're coming from and how to... Resolving with dignity, with, with allow it to work out not against you but yes. for you, for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Reverend Kenny and all this and family, family. y'all come on in. Come on in, come on in, take a seat, like, comment, and share as you're coming in. And again, we are um, still on this journey to being world changers, so, and we so, hope uh, that you all are doing your part. To make a world of difference, to effect change in your home, in your community, Hallelujah. wherever it is, your feet is planted that you are representing change, uh, effecting the change that you desire to see. Sister Dawn Marie Landage, Sister Yolanda Peter, Reverend oh, Raymond right, Collins, and in, Sister in. Juanita Collins, uh, yes. Pastor Nathaniel Baptiste, and the St. Luke family. God bless you. Hi, Reverend Sister Baptiste, Cynthia Dunn. God bless you. Come Cynthia on in. Dunn. 
the Collins sis. Joanne Jones. Hi, God bless Joanne. you. That's a uh, peace. Peace is in the house and mercy and is mercy. right behind. Right behind, yes. I need some grace in time of need. Hallelujah. Y'all come on in, like, comment, and share as you're coming in. Praise the Lord. We ask that you would like, comment, share, share, uh, 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 and post with others. Make sure we hit that like button. Make sure we hit our thumb up. Make sure we ask questions. Do all of those different things. Raise up our awareness that we are on the line. People have a tendency to win. They see the numbers. They want to go back and look at it. <laughs> and so this is how you get other people to go back and look at Amen. what you're doing. So we know that we do have some secret uh, disciples. So y'all can y'all can do that too. <laughs> and while we're in this reception time, if there are any questions about any previous lessons that we've had thus far, feel free to drop them in the comments section. Uh, we hope these lessons, as we've been on this journey to changing the world, that you have been doing your part. You have been doing the work to effect change, to be the change, to uh -huh. really put in the work. Uh, so that you can make a world of difference. And we're here for a purpose. Praise the Lord. And hopefully that you're diving into the purpose of God, the things of God. So today we've done a book, and it was entitled uh, Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. And, of course, I think we did it twice. Um, um, if you have that book, it's, 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 it would do you good to go back and read it and, and uh, glean from it, of course, Amen. and know that uh, God has a plan, purpose. purpose for your life before you were saved. Purpose was already there. Amen. Jeremiah, we're not an afterthought. God knew exactly what we were going to be before we came out of our mother's womb. It's so important that if we go back to the mind of the Creator, go back to the one who creates yes. us, is how we find purpose. When we don't know our purpose, abuse, misuse, abnormal, abnormal use. use. Good evening, Brother Neighbor. Good evening, Brother Neighbor. Come neighbor. on in. We have a. Uh, CJ has checked checked in. CJ Junior is in the house. God bless you. He in, he's he's literally in the house, y'all. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what you say, D? D has checked in. Demetrius yeah. White. I see T Liz has checked in. Now, I think we Reverend, now have Grace. Reverend Mel Mel Oob is in. God bless you, Reverend. Reverend Mel Oob and cousin. Um, All right. Reverend Michael. Congratulations Jr. again. God yes. bless you. Y'all come on in, like, comment, and share Sinky, as you're uh, coming Mitchell, in. God bless you. T. Liz is on. Yes. Tanikia Nelson. All right. Sister in law Cheryl is on. And big brother is um, nearby. Malika Moniche is on. All right, all right. <laughs> Aaron so August person. is on. Hi, brother August. Malik. Malik, okay, my little Malik. Aaron, my Aaron, big boy. Aaron, how mm -hmm. you doing, Aaron? God bless you. Obey. Get your, get your okay, my, my good friend is on. Joanna Hi, Jones and sisters. Cheers to you, sister Joanna Jones. And you see, I got my favorite cup. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come on in, like, comment, and share as you're coming in. And as indicated, we're going to be coming out still. We are traveling in the book of Acts. We're going to be covering chapter 15. 15, so you want to get the your Bible and the devices together. Of the church. Of course, we'll yes. find out how we get the epistle. This particular 15 chapter leads right to the epistle of uh, the Galatian, of course. And yes. you look at how Paul talked about you reign well, what hinder you? Uh, you've been called into liberty, mm -hmm. be not entangled with the yoke of bondage. If I just build whatever I have been destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. Talked about walking in spirit and not fulfilling the lust of the flesh. All of those things come out of Galatians, which you see in Galatians come from the book of Acts, and this act is your history, and of course the mm -hmm. epistle uh, follows. Amen, amen. So you kind of give you a little background uh, on how, how to be able to go into the word. And so don't just, okay, Galatians, why yeah, Paul is talking books. about this, and we see the There's short contention the uh, of, of the what books. is happening now. Uh, and how they're staged. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and so this is what the acts, the acts of the, it's, it's your history. Yes. It's the church. It's the birth of the church. And so when, even when you're dealing with church growth, when you start seeing that, you're going to find that there's going to always be somebody going to come in and try to hinder the growth. Oh, my God. And try to put the flame out. They try to put a blanket or a wet blanket over it. 
And but, there's, yeah, there's nothing new under the sun. Just as it was back then, it is. We see it happening even here and now. Myra Be Deaconess, Myra better than blessed. Deaconess, Myra yes. better than blessed Williams. <laughs> you forgot we. <laughs> yes, yes. Shishila Morton has checked in as one of the sisters, and definitely Sister Joanna, we are covering your family in prayer. Deborah Dennis, sister, God bless yes, you. Yes, hi, uh, Sister Deborah Dennis and sister in, sister in law Yolanda Carter and, and Mary uh, Ann Winchester. And in love, there as well, Mary Ann Winchester. Uh, all right, y'all come on in, like, comment, and share as you're coming Herman in. Jane Rodney. And if you are just joining us, of course, as you know, we have been on this journey of world changing. Uh, we are on lesson 13, and we're going to cover chapter 15 on tonight. 15. So if you want to get your Bibles as and much as together, we can in chapter 15, yes. we may not get to too many verses, but we'll just give you the points just for uh, references, mm -hmm. of course, uh, three points, of course, and uh, uh, four points. Uh, steps, of course, I call it conflict, conflict resolution, or just revol res resolving issues within uh, the church. And of course, when we speak of the church, we speak about our own self because even in marriage, you, you certainly uh, gotta know that there are issues that will arise. The enemy going to come and try oh, to yes. attack. And so, the the word of God is the thing that gives mm -hmm. us uh, a guideline yeah. and the Holy On Spirit, to, leading yes. us, led, led by the Spirit. He's gonna give us a word, and this is how we literally continue to combat some of the things that try to come up and stop us and hinder to put the flame out. Marriage ought to not ever, the flames ought to always be burned. Mm. But sometimes we allow the blanket to come in and smother it. And, and sometimes we just go through it and just go through a motion. And a lot of times churches are not moving because uh, of the fact that they didn't just, they didn't allow someone to hinder their growth. Hi, this is me, yeah. Come on in. Hey, Jasmine. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. Sister Landry, come on in. God bless you, Sister Landry. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. We're going to be getting started in a few minutes. And of course, welcome to those who are just joining us or have joined us and we're not overlooking them. I think Sister Carol is now on with us. God bless you, Sister. Zoom. Uh, Tamika, hey Tamika Nelson, y'all come on in. Like, comment, and share. Okay. She has checked in. Chelsea has checked in. My accountability partner. Your favorite daughter. All right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> y'all come on in. Like, comment, and share. And as we say, if you want to get your Bibles and devices together, we're coming out of Acts. We've been journeying with Acts for quite some time as we are on this journey to world changers, being world changers, and we hope you are doing your part. We all have to do our part to effect change in the world in which we live, and we want to effect positive change. Right. Even when we are confronted with negativity, even when we are confronted with crisis and challenges, we have to be that shining light to represent God, to effect positive change. Okay, that's Peter Brown, but I'm here. Okay, yeah, Tamika's at Peter's house. Of course, God all bless right, you. All right, all right. Well, come on in. Come all on right, in. Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and all who may be watching, welcome, welcome. God bless, God bless. Sis Alana Williams is Sister checking Williams, in. Y'all yeah, come on in. Yes, she sure is. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. With that being said, we're pretty much uh, we're at, at there. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get started. We don't want to belabor time. We want to value everybody's time. Good, glorious, blessed evening to each and every one of you all who have taken time out of your business schedule to journey with us as you so faithfully do as we come together to dive into God's word on a weekly basis by way of our Bible study table talk. And of course, we bring you greetings on behalf of the Emmanuel Baptist Church, pastor by Reverend Charles R. Brown Sr. And we hold true to a mission of spreading God's love. 
That is, we love the Lord, we love each other, and we love the lost. We are growing and flowing in love, and we are a church that is Christ-centered, Bible-based, and family-focused. And we hope that you're feeling the love as we so strive to exude it by way of these various platforms. We welcome those who are joining us on our uh, Zoom platform, and of course, those of you all who are joining us on our Facebook Live feed. We are humbly grateful. We don't take it for granted. And we hope, as we indicated, you have, as you've been on this journey with us, journey to changing the world series, we hope that you all have been doing your parts as we've been rolling out the various lessons, giving you nuggets here and there. So much information, but it's always something you can take away from all that has been said to do the work, to effect change. If you are serious about really making an impact as we are traveling, as we are sojourning through this world, um, really navigating this terrain of life. We want to be that light that, that others will see and want to glorify God, but there's a way in which we have to properly do it. God has given us the guide, the B-I-B-L-E, basic instruction before leaving earth. But we have to do our part to dive in to ask for discernment, to get revelation, to assemble yourself. And you all are doing that. You're coming, you're you're gathering with us, you're, you're, you're journeying in with us, and we're growing and evolving together. So on tonight, as indicated, we are on lesson three, which is titled Solving World-Changing Problems. Solving World-Changing Problems. And you know we are confronted with problems on a daily basis. But the question is, how are you approaching those problems how are you solving those problems are you effectively doing it are you doing it doing it according to god or you're doing it according to mankind the world we're coming out of acts the 15th chapter and i'm going to open up with verse 11 as the pastor kind of um when he provided our word for the day again that's acts the 15th chapter verse 11 but we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as day. I just read Acts, the 15th chapter, verse 11. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his holy word. And again, our topic for today's lesson is solving world-changing problems. Solving world-changing problems. But before we dive into the lesson, we're going to ask that the pastor opens up with prayer. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God, our Father, we come today in the name of Jesus and by the present power of your Holy Spirit, yes. God, we come giving you praise, glory, honor. God, because you're God and there's no one like you, Lord yes, God. Jesus. We come, Lord God, just to say thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord, Lord God, that, uh, that you allow us yes, another privilege yes, and opportunity yes. to come together, Lord God, and fellowship, Lord God, and breaking the bread of life. And God, as we come today, Lord God, we realize that God, that there's yes, absolutely nothing, nothing we can do yes. on our own, but we boldly declare that we can do all, all things, things through Christ who gives us the strength. strength. So Father, as the day so shall our strength be, and because of your strength, we wait on you, and we're yes. going on tonight, Lord God, not in our strength, but in, in the, the strength, strength of, of the, the Lord. Lord. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. that the spirit of the living God, Lord God, would just Arrest us right yes. now, our attention Thank upon you, you Lord. Lord God. Open up our Please, eyes Lord. and our heart, yes. Lord God, that we might be able to receive yes. the, what the Spirit has to say unto us, Lord God. I pray that the Word of God would just go forward, Lord God, and fall on good ground, yes. that it will produce a harvest 30, 60, and 100 fold. And God, we're so mindful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and the honor. We ask it all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the the Holy Spirit. Amen and thank God. Amen, amen, amen. Solving world-changing problems. Praise the Lord. So we're talking about journey into a changed world, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, who are the ones that are going to affect that change? God says he's using the church. We yes, are, why? We because are. we are the salt of the earth and we are the light of the mm -hmm. world, uh, light of the world, of course, and the Beatitudes are the attitudes to, to be, be when mm -hmm. we have the right attitudes. Come on. Of course, and so as a church, of course, and we know the church was born on Pentecost. The church is great. 
growing. Mm -hmm. Of course, in the new, uh, the church now has begun to expand. Yeah. And of course, the church is uh, is not an organ organization is an organism, organism. Mm -hmm. and of course with an organism mm -hmm. we already know that in our body in our physical mm -hmm. body uh, uh, whenever we have issues within this particular body we go to the doctor we do whatever we can to make sure we deal with the yeah. issue that within our body because mm -hmm. if not it could affect our whole body yeah. of course whenever you start seeing growth and development of a church then you already know that there's going to be some sort of problem yes. that is going to come given, because yeah. if I stop the church from expanding if I Come stop on. the church from growing Stagnate. then once I stop the mm. church then I can stop the mm -hmm. the, the the problem yes. that we're dealing with mm -hmm. in the world and so uh, uh, in this lesson today, we're going to look at the fourth step of, of how to deal with with, with problems and how to resolve those problems. Mm -hmm. Because if if you don't handle them the right way, they can make us mm -hmm. or, or they break can us. break us. Yeah. And so when we look at the same problem within the church, it is also within our homes. Yeah. It could be within our jobs. Mm -hmm. Just the same, I think, same steps uh, that we get out of this particular mm -hmm. lesson, you can apply these principles to your own life. Mm -hmm. First thing we're going to look at is uh, we first have to identify problems. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't, I can't operate on nothing. Come on. I can't fix nothing yeah. if I don't know what it is. Ah. And of course, you go to the doctor. Okay, you can't. You know what's going on? I'm hurting all over. Well, mm -hmm. okay, where, where you're hurting all that? Where's mm -hmm. Where's that? Mm -hmm. uh, and doctor just doing all kind of other stuff, and you mm -hmm. he's checking everything, and then you come back at the end of the day, you say, oh, I I, I drop a brick on my toe. <laughs> well, your problem was okay. Let's deal with that. Yeah. Uh, 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 whatever the problem is, we have to mm -hmm. investigate. Yeah. Then we have, I mean, we have to uh, identify, mm -hmm. then investigate. Yeah. You can put it in there, investigate mm -hmm. solution. Yes. We're not trying to arrest anybody. We're not trying to Come condemn on. anybody. Yeah. We're not trying to judge no. it. But we need to find some mm -hmm. some sort of peaceful result, yeah. a, a resolution that, mm -hmm. that, that is going to bring glory and honor to God. Mm -hmm. And then once we find those resolutions, yeah then we have to be able to know how to implement it. Mm -hmm. Implement the resolution. Uh, once we implement it, I mm -hmm. think in the last point, and that's a, that's a whole lot, mm -hmm. uh, interpret, interpret disagreement mm -hmm. carefully. Mm -hmm. And we, that's the contention and the disagreement between Paul and, and, and uh, Mark. Mm -hmm. Of course, when we look at the book of Acts, of course, and I was just sharing earlier, uh, when we look at this uh, particular book, if you go to the book of Galatians, mm -hmm. this is why the book of Galatians was written based on what is happening in this 15th chapter. So when you're reading the book of Galatians, Paul letter to the, the, the believers at Galatians, you can go right back and say, okay, I understand mm -hmm. the introduction yeah. of it is in the book of uh, mm -hmm. Acts chapter 15. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're going to deal with is see what kind of problem there are, uh, that arise, and that's going to be in verses 1, 2, and 3. Sister and Mom? it's interconnected, and always know that it's about connecting the dots. And I think when we approach even God's word mm -hmm. and having a better understanding of it all, you're connecting dots. You're, you're putting the puzzles together. Mm -hmm. You know, oftentimes folks will go to a scripture and take it out of content mm -hmm. and not really use it. You know, they will use it wrongly out of context. And not really take into account what was going on in any given time. And that's how people get bewitched. Yes. Uh, a hook wench. Yeah. Uh, of course, they take a text mm -hmm. and make it a what? A, a, a pretext. Uh -huh. and, and take it out of context mm -hmm. and make it a pretext, mm -hmm. and they build uh, they build something off it. Yeah. And yet, it's literally not what it was actually saying. Mm -hmm. So when I go back and I look at the history, history of it, yeah. when I get the history Come of it, on. I understand now yeah. why this was. Actually, say it, mm -hmm. and now I can be able to apply it, make it applicable mm -hmm. in my life. Because sometimes when I'm making something a pretext and I'm making it applicable, yeah. then if it's out of context, now I can be deceived. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so imperative mm -hmm. that as believers we study yeah. to show sure. our self approval. Yeah. Yeah. Workmen need not be ashamed, but rightly, rightly divide the word of That's truth. truth. Yeah. God, the Bible tells us we have to have a line on line, precept on, on precept, precept. Yeah. here letter and there letter. And that's mm -hmm. the purpose of us coming to yeah. uh, uh, Bible, Bible class. So, yeah. Because what you begin to see in this particular mm -hmm. 15 chapter, mm -hmm. Jews were being converted. Mm -hmm. And they were being converted under the doctrine of grace. Yes. But there the was no long Judaizer uh -huh. tried to come back in and try to say, yeah. wait a minute. Huh. It, it's Christ but something yeah. else. Mm -hmm. And so this is what we're at on in the lesson tonight. Amen. So solving world changing problems. All the part of on our journey to changing the world. As the pastor said, 
there are several steps. Step number one, identifying the problems. That's going to cover um, Acts chapter 15, verses 1 through 3. And it reads, And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren, and so except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. Mm. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no business dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. Ooh. Verse 3. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phineas uh, and uh, Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles. And they caused great joy unto all the brethren. So, so, so here's the problem. Mm -hmm. The first thing is I want to make sure I identify the problem. The church is growing. Church is moving forward. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden, you already know that whenever the churches yeah. are growing forward, yeah, especially some of our traditional yeah. churches, mm -hmm. uh, there are going to always be people with closed minds. Mm -hmm. There are going to always be people with a with a, with a wet, wet blanket ready to try to put out the flame. Mm -hmm. And of course, they clo on. when they have a closed mind, they yeah. literally try to make sure they try to close the door. Yeah. And so oh this, is what, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. A certain men that came down uh, from Judea, they came mm -hmm. down with Paul and what? Paul, remember his yeah. first Missionary journey class was at Antioch. Yeah. You remember that? The believers were called uh, Antioch. Christian mm -hmm. at Antioch. Mm -hmm. And so they came there. And so what they did, they called them Judaizers. They're Jew. Mm -hmm. They say, except you be circumcised. Mm -hmm. but in a matter of Moses, you cannot be saved. Mm -hmm. So in other words, they're telling them mm -hmm. that the only way you can be saved yeah. is, is, is Jesus Christ yeah. plus the law. Yeah. They, try to, they try to mix law and grace. Mm. And so what happened is anytime we put Jesus Christ yeah. and anything else, then therefore you got to know that people are trying to get you to the place mm. where they're getting you hook winch or mm. they're trying to be with you. Yeah. And so Paul and, and, and Barnabas, they're there. And I mean, they, this, this is, this is a dispute, a dissension mm. that arose among them. Mm. I mean, Paul is like, wait a minute, because uh, uh, in our flesh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you preaching, you laboring, mm -hmm. and now somebody gonna come in mm -hmm. and try to tell people, wait yeah. a minute, what they're saying is not right. The what? only way you can get saved is yeah. you gotta keep a law, mm -hmm. something that they couldn't keep, mm -hmm. and you gotta come be on. circumcised. You mm -hmm. gotta do some some sort of outward performance. Mm -hmm. And so Paul and went on, and what they did was they they went to to Jerusalem. To the mother church. Yeah. Remember, Jerusalem is the mother church. Is where the church were birthed at. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a birth, a mother, right? Mm -hmm. And so the mother church, of course, the apostles are there. Mm -hmm. And so they're going there. This is a, a Jerusalem conference. But while they were on their way, they seen certain... Um, as they were passing through uh, Phoenix and Samaria, they declared the co conversion of the Gentile. And, and the Bible was talking about there was great joy among the brothers. Yeah. Paul and was just sharing the gospel irregardless. Even though we go into Jerusalem, mm -hmm. what we have to do we is irregardless, happen. we still see changes mm -hmm. being made and being they still make an impact irregardless of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. We got to still share the gospel. Come on. We got we to gotta continue to do what God has called mm -hmm. us to do. Don't get to the place where... You know, when we get to the place where we're so angry yeah. and, and we lose mm. our focus. Yeah. But they were sharing the gospel in the midst of being angry. Mm -hmm. They were persistent. Mm -hmm. They knew their purpose. They were steadfast, unmovable, always abounded in the works of the Lord for as much as they know their labor was in advance. God didn't say this world was going to be easy. He didn't say you was, wasn't going to be met with adversity or folks that going to come against you. But you got to stand flat-footed. You got to stand in the will of God no matter what may come your way, no matter how many obstacles may come about. And them obstacles are going to be there. They're mm -hmm. going to come because the whole premise is they're in the disguise of Satan trying to what? Stop the growth. Stop they, the learning. Stop the evolving. Try evolving. to close that yeah. door. Mm -hmm. We got to stop it yeah. because if the church... Get for its rightful place and yeah. understand the power mm -hmm. and authority mm -hmm. and influence that yeah. they would have in the world. If mm -hmm. I can put this flame out, if I put this this, this yeah. wet blanket we, we, out, if I can future. smother yeah. it, and now I stop it. Yeah. And so the change mm -hmm. starts from the yeah. outside, yeah. inside out. Mm -hmm. So if I can stop it from the inside, yeah. then I know I'm going to hinder it from mm -hmm. the outside. Mm -hmm. But they were going, 
And they were declaring the Bible, uh, 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 the conversion, mm -hmm. and the Bible said there was great joy. Yeah. Uh, so in, in spite of it all, like you say, uh, they were they were cont they continue to be steadfast. They unmovable. were unmovable, yes. Yes. Uh, unmovable. Mm -hmm. They didn't allow mm -hmm. that what what was going on mm -hmm. stop them from doing what God mm -hmm. called them to do. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have that even among believers. They're going to mm -hmm. be about drawing distractions, causing confusion, having the, uh, making, the, making the word a debate. Uh -huh. You know, here again, uh, uh, really teaching false doctrine. Praise the Lord. You know, getting so much of the word. That's what Satan did eat. He gave us so much of the, you know what I'm saying? He gave her, he gave her not just, just enough, enough to, for her to then to be, to be deceived. perplexed. And about, of course, she, and he came yeah. in through the different gates, through the oh, through the eye gate. God. She looked yeah. at the tree and she saw yeah. it was wise. You know mm -hmm. how much money they are gonna spend on commercials yes, for the Super Bowl? Ooh, because of what? You know, they the gonna, eye I, gate. I forgot how many million dollars million for thirty seconds. Why? Yeah. Because they want you to see Appealing. it. And how many people yeah. gonna look at it and they, gonna, and, and, and they gonna fall for mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. I tell you, I, I keep telling you know it's always come to me when I go uh, mm -hmm. when I go back to my unconverted days. Yeah. When I went to New Orleans first time, yes. I'm on I'm on Bourbon <laughs> Street. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking and I thought yes, I seen the most indeed. beautiful person in the world. Right, they're swinging, they're swinging, and they say, "Man, you know that's a man." And I say, "Huh?" And so, uh, you know, your eyes, you can't, yeah. you gotta be, you, you, you gotta can't be, be led by your, your eyes. eyes you gotta be led by your spirit, Hallelujah. by the spirit Amen. of God. So, 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 so there was no, uh, uh, they, they, they continued so identify, doing the work. They identified the problem. The problem. They keep it so, what was the problem? Yes. The problem was they try to. Hook winch, mm -hmm. they try to bewitch uh, 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 the Gentile. Yes. They're telling Making the Gentile the that, only yeah. way you gonna get saved mm -hmm. is you gotta be circumcised, yeah. and you gotta you gotta you gotta keep the laws of Moses. My you gotta God. keep the law. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you're going to Galatians, Galatians mm -hmm. tell you the law was our schoolmaster mm -hmm. to bring us. To Christ, mm -hmm. a schoolmaster is just teaching us. It's like an X-ray and letting us know that you have a problem. Mm -hmm. But an X-ray don't 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 solve your problem. Yeah. If you uh, you know the law was like a it mirror, it shows you yeah. that you have a. If you want, you get up in the morning, you got you, you look in the mirror mm -hmm. and you got crust all over your eyes mm -hmm. and face. Of course. Just looking at that don't clean it. Yeah, you and just let you know part. you need to be clean. <laughs> and that's what the law did. It the reveals. law said you need, that's it. Yeah. It, it, it needed to, whatever is not revealed cannot be healed. Be healed. Wow. And so the law was simply yeah. there to, to reveal yeah. that on. they all sinned yeah. and had come, come short of the, the glory of God. God. And the only way they were going to be saved, it was nothing they can do. They had to receive what God did at Calvary. Hallelujah. Glory to so, God. So, so we identify the problem. Yes. Let's, let's, uh, uh, let's, investigate let's investigate a solution. Come on, come on. Let's, let's find a peaceful resolve. Uh -huh. We got a problem. Yeah. We understand the problem. Uh -huh. So how do we come to the place where we can get a, resolve. a, a peaceful resolve, mm -hmm. a resolution? Yeah. Because God is a God, a God of reconciliation. Hallelujah. And that's what we have to. And it, look, conflict is going to happen. Conflict is going to come. Disagreement it's, will happen. But how do we respond? How do we go about finding a peaceful, like you say, resolution? Resolution. You know, one of the, one of the worst things to do is just to 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 see Get out church, of to to see yes. church fights. Ooh, 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 and, and, and 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 when what? you got church fights, yeah. So now what happened is. When the church is fighting the inside, mm. the sinners are looking on the outside. outside. So when the go. church try to go out there and try to make influence outside, it's, it, has it no can't effect. because yeah. you haven't dealt with the yeah. issue Come that's on, on the inside. inside. So we investigate this situation. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we try to find a peaceful resolve. Yeah. We need to come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. And so always know that when you're dealing with those type of situations, the solution ought to be led by the Spirit of God yeah, and, and by, by the Scripture. Yeah. Let me put those two down. Uh -oh. The Spirit of God and, and the, the scripture, scripture, the Word of God. Yeah. We can't go what we... You got to take self out of it. Praise the Lord. And not allow ourselves to be guided by the Spirit of God. And the word of and God. The word and of the God. spirit of yeah. God is not going to lead you Come on. outside of what the God already God. said. Yeah. Because with the word of God is the will of God. Amen. The will of God is the ways of God. Come on. It is God uh, uh, desire for us. So mm -hmm. therefore, he's not going to give you nothing that is that he has not already said. Amen. Amen. Which brings us to step two. Once we have identified the problem, now we want to investigate a solution. Mm. That's covering verses 4 through 21. And let me kind of just go, uh, uh, 
uh, re, re Don't do reason. And we'll we'll just stop in where you want we'll to stop. stop yeah. And when they, uh, now, so I'm beginning at verse four. four. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declare all things that God had done with them. Four. But that so so the first thing mm -hmm. when they get to Jerusalem. Uh huh. They, they were welcome. I want yeah. you to see that. Come on. They were received yeah. by, uh, see how God prepares uh, the way? of the church. Yeah. The church has already received uh, them mm -hmm. and of the apostles. Yes. Remember, uh, uh, the church began to expand when the persecution came. Mm -hmm. But the apostle literally stayed in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Of mm -hmm. course, Peter left. Peter went, of course, and he was the first one to preach to the Gentiles. But it's Paul, uh, uh, Paul calling to go to the Gentiles, Peter to the Jews, of course. And so they are there, the elders, those who are uh, 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 senior, who are seasoned in the word of God. Mm -hmm. The elder person is just, just because I'm older. If I don't know the word of God, that doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, they're seasoned in the word of God. They're, they're, they're bishop, of course. And, uh, and they, they begin to declare what... Uh, uh, all the things God had done to them. Mm -hmm. Remember when I talked about that on, 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 on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Our story mm -hmm. is, is his story. story. Mm -hmm. And so it is the history. Mm -hmm. So they're telling them about the history, the mm -hmm. birth of the mm -hmm. church, and how God was dealing with with the Gentile. Mm -hmm. We don't always go tell people what good thing the, the Lord, Lord has done. Has done. Yes. And so they're receiving verse number six. Five. But there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees, which believed, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. There they go. They're going keep to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. An apostle and the elders came together for to consider of this matter. Mm -hmm. And when there had Stop right there. Okay. So, 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 <laughs> why is, what happened? And we're talking about the steps. The mm -hmm. steps of how to literally deal with uh, uh, solving these mm -hmm. particular Topic problems. So the first thing is, I need to I, I, I need to identify the problem. Mm -hmm. I need to investigate the yeah, solution. solution. And of course, what happened is, uh, uh, the first one talk is, 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 the, is the sect. They're talking about the Judaizer who came down and says, uh, uh, they're Pharisees uh, uh, saying that uh, these people need to be circumcised mm -hmm. and, and, and to command them to keep the law of Moses. Now, they are telling these people that the only way you can be saved mm -hmm. is Christ mm -hmm. and, the law. and the law. And the law, again, was our schoolmaster. Mm -hmm. The schoolmaster led us to Christ. Mm -hmm. and the schoolmaster can. said, mm -hmm. you, you're a sinner. Yeah. You need to be saved. Yeah. And so they're coming, and mm -hmm. this is what they're saying. Listen, these people saying what these Gentiles... Of course, you're not a Jew. They didn't got saved, and they're not doing the law. They're not keeping the law of Moses. They're trying to put something on them that they themselves didn't. It's amazing. Them you got to be mindful <laughs> how people are trying to tell you to do something, mm, and they don't do it. Come on. And they can't do it. It didn't, so, it didn't, it didn't apply to them. Mm, come mm. on. But it's applying to you yes. because you... Because you come from the other side of the track. Mm -hmm. You got to do something different in order to be a part of, 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 of the body to of Christ, seen. to be a Christian. Yeah. Verse number uh, Seven. six. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye, knew, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us, that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word, of the gospel and believe. So remember when Peter was on the housetop. Mm -hmm. Remember when Peter was hungry. Yeah. God dealt with him right where he was at. And and the sheep came and said, Arise, Peter and eat. Peter said, No, not Lord. I said, You can't do that. Yeah. That's the worst thing to do. Come How on. you can say no mm -hmm. and not Lord? You, he can't be Lord and you're going to tell him no. no. Mm -hmm. If he's Lord, you got to surrender yes. to him. Yes. And of course, Peter, after going, he went to the house of Cornelius. And of course, in the Cornelius. They had a, you know, seen in a vision how Peter was going to come mm -hmm. and he preached the gospel yeah. and the people were saved based yeah. on what? Uh, how can he hear without a preacher? Mm -hmm. How can he preach without, uh, 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 how can he preach mm -hmm. except it be sent? Yeah. Uh, of course, how uh, how beautiful are the feats mm -hmm. of him who preached the gospel, please, a glad tiding, a great thing. Mm -hmm. Faith come by hearing and, and hearing. hearing and so they God. heard and they were saved. Go ahead on. Peter's talking. This mm -hmm. is uh, Peter. And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. Come on. So yeah. Peter said once he preached, yeah. not only they heard the word, they received the Holy Ghost. Just I want you like to see the others, yeah. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Keep on. Now, therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke 
upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. He's very blunt. Peter uh -huh. said, listen, these people received the Holy... He had to bring it back they, to hear, him. they heard the gospel. Yeah. Evangelized. The word was preached to them. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God came upon them. And God uh, began to purify their yes. heart by faith. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, now why in the world are you trying to tempt God Come on. to put a yoke <laughs> on these <laughs> people, their disciples, Come their on. Christians, yeah. their followers of Come Christ, uh -huh. their your father they couldn't get yeah. and neither Access, can you. Yeah. So why are you trying to put mm -hmm. a yoke on them mm -hmm. when Jesus gave us a divine no. invitation? Ah, he says, because you were telling them, come unto me labor yes. and heavy laden. Yes. That was that, that was a, that was the invitation. And that's for everybody. That's right. The come invitation on. was yes. listen, you got an issue. Yes. The law is your schoolmaster. It already revealed to you yes. you need something come to on. connect with. Hallelujah. And he gave that invitation, come in. And yoke up with me. My yoke is easy but and my burden, burden is light. Now you trying to make these people, you trying Come to on. put a burden on them. Oh your, your daddy couldn't keep it. Come on. Your mama didn't yes. keep it. Your sister and your cousin. Yeah. And you ain't kept it. <laughs> so why are you trying to make them do something mm -hmm. you can't do? My God, my or you God. didn't do. Or you can't do, mm -hmm. however. First of all, we still going in there? Yeah, yeah, go, but, going. We, but we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. Now, I want you to look at that scripture huh? clearly. Come on. So, Peter's talking how the whole, how the, he, he, no, he evangelized, no the no Spirit of God came upon yeah. them, their heart was purified by yeah. faith, uh -huh. of course, and uh, 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 you're trying to put a, you trying to tempt God by putting a yoke on him. Mm -hmm. We couldn't keep it, neither my, our father could, but he said, but we believe that through the grace Come of on. the Lord, yeah. grace, grace, God redemption yeah. at Christ's Christ expense. expense. It is mm -hmm. God grace. God yes. Unmerited favor. favor. Mm -hmm. You cannot earn salvation. We are saved by grace yes. through faith. It is true the Lord Jesus Christ. He said we shall be saved as they. Mm -hmm. Now look at the order of it. Mm -hmm. He said we shall be saved as they are already come, saved. Come he said y'all <laughs> acting like y'all not saved. But they are already saved. Yes. And the only way you're going to get saved Ooh. is the same way Ooh. they get saved. Yes. Because you trying to, apparently you trying to take, you trying to make it Christ and somebody else. Yes. And anytime you make it Christ and somebody else, then we shall be saved come as on. they. Come because on. they got saved with Christ and Christ alone. My God. My God, my God, my God. And so we got to really, again, ask for discernment and be mindful not to get caught up with so many doctrines Hallelujah. of sorts. We got to be mindful to not get stuck and held in traditions of things because we will lose our way. We will stay stagnated. We will not evolve as God intended for us. You know, you know, and one of the things we we, we talked about how, uh, how how the Pharisees they talk, the Judaizers talk. Mm -hmm. Now Peter is talking, and Peter, of course, who 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 God used, yeah. uh, and says, Peter, mm -hmm. uh, 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 upon this rock I'm gonna build the church, and I'm gonna give you keys. Yeah, and so Peter on. uses keys on Pentecost, mm -hmm. and Peter uses Ooh, keys uh, 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 to the Gentiles. Yeah. And so Peter now come back and say, Look what happened when I use my keys. Mm -hmm. God opened up the doors. Come on, wide open. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> God opened the doors to the Gentile yes. as well as unto us. Yes. Now you're trying to go back you're and trying, trying to, to put it. Oh. You're trying to say, okay, you we're gonna get uh -huh. saved this way. Yes. But we're gonna be saved the way My they God. are. Mm -hmm. They're already saved. And and, 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 and we we'll, we shall be saved as they are, or they are. So uh, um, uh, it's so important that we see that because we yes. know that in, in young Christian come mm -hmm. up, the first thing people will tell you that is, uh, you know, especially when you don't know, you mm -hmm. get excited about God, mm -hmm. and and people go, uh, 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 you if you ain't speaking in tongues, you ain't saved. Let me just remind mm -hmm. them, and I'll be very blunt. And I know some of the people who were telling people that they were mm -hmm. they were speaking the unknown tongue and cuss, yeah. they'll cuss their wife out. My God. They 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 mm -hmm. have more cursing out of their mouth, mm -hmm. and God can't how in the world God gonna give you sweet no. water and bitter water. water. That's not believe. even Come that's not now. God, and so. <laughs> Uh, uh, and tongue was not for the believer. Tongue yeah. was for the unbelievers. Come on. And so, uh, uh, and, and so, when we don't know, yeah. uh, uh, then we can get hooked. Mm -hmm. We can be bewitched, be and now all of a sudden you don't have, feel. Yeah. And, 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 and literally, Connected. the enemy comes now and just yeah. try to put a, a wet blanket yes. over on. your flame. They try to, and yes. that's what Paul said. You ran well yes. in Galatians, yes. but what hindered you? Mm -hmm. What stopped you from running? Come on. You sung the song, Lord, I'm running. Trying, trying to, to make, make a hundred. 
And and now you ain't making ten and you satisfied. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Wow. Because you allow somebody to, to, yes. to close yeah. the door. To quench. To yeah. quench, that, quench fire that spirit. That's it. With That's false it. teaching. Hallelujah. Quench the fire with false teaching. Do you want me to pivot go, now go, to go, step three? Yeah, go, yeah. No, go ahead. Go, I want to hear, we're going to hear from the Jerusalem Council. That's Peter spoke. We're going to hear from Paul and Barnabas okay. because they're up there as well. I'm so, sorry. verse 12. Then all the multitude I'm not kept stop silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders God had wrought. Among the Gentiles by them, and after they had held their peace, James answered, "Okay, saying, so let me just go there. And brethren, hearken unto me." So, so why is here in the Jerusalem conference? The the Pharisees talk to Josiah. They talk, talking about they got to be, they got to, they got to, they got to keep the, the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. They're trying to put it on it. And then Peter uh, spoke. We heard him. Barnabas and, and, and Paul. Remember mm -hmm. Barnabas, son of consolation. Paul mm -hmm. and they were there in Antioch. And they talk about how God was doing miracles, yeah, signs, and wonders, wonders that was wrought mm -hmm. among the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Remember the man uh, that we dealt with on last week? Mm -hmm. He was an impotent man. Yeah. This man had never walked, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, Paul was preaching. Yeah. And Paul perceived mm -hmm. that this yeah. man had faith yeah. to be healed. Mm -hmm. And Paul commanded him through the authority yeah. of God. To rise, rise up, and, up. And, and, yeah. and walk. Mm -hmm. And if the man didn't move, then mm -hmm. he never would have got healed. Yeah. Now, when he activated his faith, Come on. he you seen the dynamic of his faith yeah. because he didn't just got up. The Bible said he, he leaped. leaped. <laughs> and then, of course, we see his duration yes. that he continued to walk. Hallelujah. Because they're going to see some dynamic of our, our, mm -hmm. our, our miracle. But most importantly, we walk through. Yeah. We walk through the valley of the shadow, shadow of death. death. We walk yeah. worthy of the Come vocation on. we're calling. Yeah. We walk in, in love. We walk yes, in the spirit. Yeah. So we don't, we don't, you know, and I know Martin Luther King said, uh, 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 we got to keep moving. Uh, if you can't fly, mm -hmm. uh Run, and if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But whatever you do, you keep moving. As yes. believers, we got we got to come. Moving. We have to walk, and our yeah. steps walk are ordered. Out. We are, our yes. steps are ordered by, by the Lord. Lord, and so that's the duration of it. Paul talked about it. Come on, James. Let me let me get James' uh, observation as well. Let me go. On. So Simeon had declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles mm -hmm. to take out of them a people for His name, and to this agree the words of the prophet as it is written. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up. Keep reading. That the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, said the Lord, who doeth all these things. So so listen, Jam, yeah. which is Simeon. Uh, 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 he has spoken. Mm -hmm. He's speaking about how God was going to take out a uh, visit the Gentile, and he went basically uh, to the Word of God. James mm -hmm. now is the brother, uh, uh, half brother of Jesus. Yeah. James didn't become a believer till after the resurrection. Mm -hmm. And what James literally tell us is that um, no matter what, until we ex uh, until we experience the life, the death, the burial, and, and the, the resurrection, resurrection we'll yeah. never know who God is, Come who on. Christ is. Mm -hmm. And so he goes back in the book of Amos. We ain't got time. Amos chapter 2, verse 9 mm -hmm. through 11. He talks about how God was going to build up a, 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 a temple again and, and, the, and Gentile was going to come in. Mm -hmm. So he literally said, they're being left by the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. but he's going right to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. This is how they're dealing with uh, investigating mm -hmm. a solution. Yeah. Keep going, Sister Brown. Yeah, known unto, so verse 18, uh, known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Uh -huh. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. Okay. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. Keep going. For Moses, is, for Moses of old time had in every city them that preach him being ready in a synagogue every mm -hmm. Sabbath day. Uh, and 22, then please it the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, surname, Bersabas, and Silas, chief men among the brothers. So what happened was once James spoke, 
And once James came up and mm -hmm. says, listen, uh, what we need to do is uh, um, um, uh, we need to write letters uh, telling them, listen, yes, mm -hmm. the Gentiles are saved by, by grace through faith, but we got to tell them because what happened is mm -hmm. we got to make sure that even though they're, they're saved by grace through faith, there are certain things that, that may be offending mm -hmm. the Jews. Yeah. And, and and so make sure that they don't become a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. I need y'all, don't let them become a stumbling block. And so so tell them to stand from pollution uh, uh, meet, uh, 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 of idols, mm -hmm. from fornication, mm -hmm. sexual, that's for anybody then. Mm -hmm. it, 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 and, you know, grace don't give us a license to commit fornication. Mm -hmm. Grace don't give us a license to commit adultery. Amen. God, He yeah. says no, and, and string, uh, strangle with blood. Moses and every uh, thing they preached this in every synagogue. They they were preaching it. So He says, whatever they do, we give them. You know, God, we understand it's under grace, but make sure that they don't mm -hmm. cause. Be a stumbling block, mm -hmm. and that's for all of us. Mm -hmm. We ought to not ever be a stumbling block mm -hmm. or offend nobody else by some of the thing yeah. that they may believe Come on. in. Yeah. And so this thing pleased the apostle, and so what they did was, and these are the church in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. they, they sent letters to, to the different people, mm -hmm. and Paul of us and Saul, of course, and this is where Paul now get connected to what's mm -hmm. called his second mm -hmm. missionary, missionary journey. journey. Of course, and so this was their uh, result. Mm -hmm. They investigated. They heard from the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. They heard from Peter. Mm -hmm. They heard from Paul, Paul and Barnabas, mm -hmm. and they hear from James. And now they have reached a conclusion that Gentiles are saved by grace through faith. Don't be a stumbling block. Don't eat meat uh, mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, offered to idols. Uh, uh, strangle with blood. Don't commit fornication. And this stuff pleased them. And they went and went and bought these things and put them in the church. That's mm -hmm. when the letters mm -hmm. came. To the church. Mm, mm. And over until there is order. Mm -hmm. Everything is done decent and in order. And of course, like I said, we are not exempt from conflict. We're not exempt from problems. They're going to exist even more because we are striving to be on this journey. To be about working out our soul salvation. To be about being in the will of God. That's when sin going to come and pounce. And he's going to come in ways that oftentimes if you're not paying attention... You may not see it coming. And all the time it is in the church. You're going to have, he's going to come there to infiltrate, to cause problems, to cause divisions, to cause distractions. All to what? Keep us ignorant. Keep us not really evolving and learning God's word for ourselves so that we will know how to approach things in a fair, decent mm -hmm. And spiritual way. Praise the Lord. So when if, if mm -hmm. I can put the flames out yeah. and say this, if I can put the flame out in the church, then I don't have to worry about anything on, outside the church. It. If yeah. you think about all yeah. the civil rights movement yeah. and all the things mm -hmm. that are happening as we celebrate a Black History Month, mm -hmm. uh, 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 all of it started. It, 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 they were all mm -hmm. in the church. They, they learned. The church they learned about peaceful, uh, uh, nonviolent. Yeah, uh, nonviolent. Uh, 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 they learned all yeah, that based on. On, 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 on word, they called mm -hmm. a young minister from uh, Atlanta to, mm -hmm. to lead them, uh, yes. Dr. Martin Luther King. Yes. You know, so th these are things uh, 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 that they did within the church, mm -hmm. and the church now have to begin to get her, her reverence back. Mm -hmm. The church has to, mm -hmm. but if the church haven't dealt with their own issues, mm -hmm. how That's you gonna it. deal with issues on the outside yeah. when you haven't dealt with the mm -hmm. issues on the inside? How will you be the ark of safety for others who are trying to that we're trying to pull into the ark of safety? When, when they're seeing the confusion, when they're seeing the mess, when they're seeing the chaos that you, that we as Christians are supposed to be able to handle, but it's so much disorder, well, we become a stumbling block to those that we're, the very people we're trying to reach. Praise and Lord. oftentimes, sometimes it is infiltrated by way of what doctrine we're trying to preach. Mm. We're trying to muddle God's word to fit sometimes our own agenda. Hallelujah. You know, some people are there in leadership with their own worldly agenda but they will use god's word to 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 uh to uh okie doke praise the lord you know, so so wait. so for so and so first 22 is where we started and yeah. we're going to stop right there because you read it it's a, just impl a implementing mm -hmm. the solution yeah. and so the solution was okay this is what you're going to do mm -hmm. and now they got letters they're taking these letters mm -hmm. to these different uh, Gentile yeah. to the churches so and that things that they need to do, yeah. of course. And uh, we don't become a, a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. We are saved by grace yeah. through 
uh, through faith. Of course, the message of God is through the uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, word. And when the spirit of God convicts us and converts us, that's mm -hmm. how we're saved. Mm -hmm. And of course, that is the redemptive work of Jesus Christ at Calvary Cross. Yeah. Of course, Romans 10, 9 and 10. Just in case you don't know, mm -hmm. if, I, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus yes. and believe in your heart Come that on. God has raised him yes. from the dead, yes. thy shall be saved with the mm -hmm. heart man Believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto the soul. Whosoever, don't matter who you are or where you're at, whoever call on the name of the Lord shall, shall be, be saved. saved. How can we call whom we never believe? Mm. How can we believe what we never heard? How can we hear without a preacher? Come on, please send me yeah. somebody with the letters. They send them with the letters, and mm -hmm. that's the... Uh, of course, the implementation yeah, of the solution. Yeah, they spread it, they share it, so they can all be on one accord. And that's what Jesus wants us even, that still holds for us today. We have to strive to be on one accord by really portraying God's word, telling God's word in the most authentic, uh, uh, truthful way that God has purposed us to do. It. It's not about us taking it and running with it and making it to fit our own sneaky agenda. But God wants us to be authentic in all that we're doing, especially when he has uh, commissioned us to be leaders, commissioned us to be ministers, commissioned us to be evangelists, commissioned us to be, to go and tell it. We have to be uh, truthful in how we're handling God's word, how we are just dissecting, how we are teaching, how we are spreading his word. Not to be stumbling blocks, but to be stepping stones. Hallelujah. And even in the midst of disagreements, problems, situations, there's always a peaceful way that God requires of us to be about finding the resolve. And we should always be ready to resolve any conflict. Or uh, God is a God of reconciliation. So that should always be on the forefront of any disagreement. Disagreements is going to come. Problems will be there. That's just a given. That's life. But how are we approaching those problems? How are we dealing with them? How are we working effectively to resolve them? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We pray you have been blessed yes. on tonight. Of course, we have to end this lesson uh, at, at this particular time. But again, if you don't mind, do me a favor. I want yeah. you to like. I want you to. Mm -hmm. I want you to share. Hit share. Share this with somebody you really are evangelizing. You are literally uh, doing what God created you to do. We all have been given a commission. We are ambassadors for Christ. We're in this earth realm, yeah. uh, representing the kingdom Amen. of God. And wherever we go, we are ushering in the kingdom mm -hmm. because our life has been changed. Now we want to change life that are around us. So please like, share, tag, comment, do whatever you can. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what God has called us to do, and that's how we begin to see changes, mm -hmm. of course, in our uh, uh, from the inside to the outside. Uh, Amen. Evangelize, evangelize, evangelize. Go and tell it. Once you learn it and 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 and, and receive it, it's not for you to hold. You have to then go and tell it. Go, go tell, tell it. Tell it. Go tell it mm -hmm. on the mountain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that Jesus Christ is born. Amen. Amen. Let me leave that alone. All right. Praise the Lord. That's kind of out of rhythm, but uh, hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but the, the but the what but the words are so important. Carol, Lord have mercy. <laughs> you know, but the words are relevant too. Hallelujah. God bless y'all on tonight. Listen, uh, I think we we have. That's uh, your story. What we have, sticking with it. What huh? we, what we have on what we have Saturday. Uh, on Saturday we have nursing home ministry, and then later on that e ooh. that day we're going to journey to Southern University. So, so the kids who are still, uh, we have some sign up, but if you you still can uh, submit your name if you desire to journey with us to Southern University for their uh, church collaboration at the basketball game. Um, um, we're going to be leaving the church at 1.30. 1.30. Well, meet us at the church for 1.30. Be at the church for 1.30 to catch the church van. If you're opting to drive yourself, you can do that and you can meet us there. But let us know that you are planning to go so that we can have a count of who it is we're, um, um, you know, providing um, payment for. Yeah. Payment for your entry, but you're responsible for your Praise purpose. the Lord. <laughs> You're responsible for well, your own us food. Know, let us and don't know. go don't come here and the parents do not send your children with three dollars to get salty popcorn <laughs> and ain't got nothing to drink. <laughs> 
I'm going to drink them just playing. Amen. <laughs> but but uh, on now, let us know. And, of course, uh, Sunday, 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 because Sunday is Sunday. Second Sunday is Communion Sunday. Listen, so prepare your heart and mind second and Sunday so, is Communion yes. Sunday. I have... And I say that all the time, but the Holy Spirit gave me a word, yes. a word to teach on Sunday. And the word is very simple, but very profound. And I'm going to show you some stuff in that area. Um, the strength of unity mm -hmm. in the community. Okay. I want you to write that down. Yes. The strength of unity in the community. In the, community. Mm. the strength of unity. In, in the, the community. community. Come on, hallelujah. When the community is not in unity, the community suffers. Uh oh. They Amen. have no strength. But when you got a community that is in unity, that mm -hmm. strength in the community, you're going to see changes. And so we're going to deal with some changes as we're dealing with black history, as we get ready to go uh, to the most importantly, his story. Is his history is his story. Yes. We'll bring it to the cross. Amen. 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 With that being said, we're gonna close out with prayer. Hallelujah. Thank God you all for Father. tearing with us and, and hanging in there with us. Hallelujah. God bless you. We pray this lesson has truly been a blessing. This is a yes. doctrine lesson. A lot of times people will stay away from it because it takes a lot of explanation and so on and so forth with it. But it's an awesome lesson and it's so important that we go get in it uh, uh, as we deal with our mm -hmm. salvation. That is how we're getting, how we're saved. Nothing you've done, but because of what he's done. God, our Father, we love and honor you. We thank you tonight, Lord God, again for another lesson, Lord God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, yes, the teacher who have taught Lord us, Lord thank God, you, and teaches us all things. God, I pray tonight, Lord God, that our eyes are open, Lord God. Maybe someone who just been uh, with us, just tuning in, Lord God, may have thought that there's something that they had to do. Oh, and many of them, yes. Lord God, have been holding back, thinking that something. But God, we thank you that you've already they did it, Lord God. Thank you for your grace, Thank Lord God, you, Lord that Jesus. your unmerited favor, Lord God, that your re Christ's redemption at God, redemption at Christ's expense, God, you paid a price for yes, us. We could God. not pay, Thank Lord you, God, a, pay, a price you did not owe. God, thank you thank for the you, blood Lord. of Jesus yes. that when we put our faith in you, Lord God, we're justified. God, you look at us as if oh, we had never, yes. ever, ever, ever sinned. Sin. I pray, Father God, that even now, God, for the grace of God, it does not give us a license, Lord yes. God, to live any kind of way, Lord God. I pray, Father, that we don't become a stumbling block to others, yes, but God, that we will go it. forward, Lord God, and let others Hallelujah. see, Lord God, the yes. Christ that is in us. God, we pray on tonight a special prayer for our dear sister Sharon Nicholas. Yes. God, we want to just lift just her up tonight. to you, yes. Lord God. We just ask the believers, Lord God, to stand Please, in agreement Lord with Jesus. her, stand in a gap with her, Lord God, because we know, God, one can chase a thousand and oh, two can put yes. ten thousand a flight. God, I pray today, I come up against anything that's not like you, Lord God. I bind, yes. Lord God, the spirit that's of fear, it. Lord God, the spirit of doubt, Lord God. We pray, Father, for a calm and peaceful spirit, Lord God. Yes. Let peace be her umpire. Mm -hmm. Let it be her. Let I'll it be her God, Jesus. Lord God. Yes. It will guard her heart and mind, Lord yes. God. I pray that the presence of God, Lord God, would just saturate it and, and permeate it. And God, that she would sense the presence of God to know that she is not yes. alone. Now, God, we pray that Sharon, Lord God, yes. Sharon would stand on your word, stand yes. on your promise, and begin to activate, activate that faith, faith, Lord God. Yes. For your word said, Lord God, that you took all of our infirmity and you bared all of our sickness when you went to Calvary. For you was wounded for her yes. transgression. You were bruised for her iniquity. With it. And a chastisement of our peace, her, her peace was upon your shoulder, and it's by the blood of Jesus she is already healed. Yes. God, you are Jehovah Rophi, you yes. are her bomb in Gilead. Thank and so, God, Lord we Jesus. name, we believe in that, yes. and we are receiving it. God, we pray for blessing upon everyone that is on this uh, 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 pr uh, on this Bible class on tonight. We yes. pray for every family, Lord God. Please we pray Lord for salvation Jesus. upon yes. every family. We pray for every needs of being every, supplied, every, Lord every, God. Lord God, we pray. Uh, continually, Lord God, that as we depart from this, Lord God, line, we know we'll never ever depart from Hallelujah. your presence. Jesus. God, dispatch angels, send them on their divine assignment yes. that they will keep us in all Hallelujah. of your ways. Lord Bless Jesus. us, Lord God, and we will cause your 
face to shine on us. Yes, be Lord. gracious unto us. And God, we lift up your countenance upon us and give us peace. The peace of God that passeth all understanding. But this is your servant prayer. We believe we receive it. And we already know it's done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. So y'all be blessed. Again, we thank each and every one of you all for tuning in on our Zoom and on our Facebook Live. Let us be world changers. Let us let us shake it up and make sure that we are representing God in the truest form. And of course, anytime we are confronted with with problems, with, with situations, with, 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 with conflict, let's represent God. Let our light show shine so that they will see our good works and want to glorify God. Be the world changers. Let us do the word. God it starts with you. It's starts with us. Love you all. Love you all. We mean it. And of course, we want y'all to bada, bada, do bada. something about it. Y'all have already shown it. I see so many hearts up there. Yes, amen. Jesus. Jesus is the best thing. I said it on Sunday, right? He's the best thing. He's the best thing. Y'all be blessed. Love you all. He's the best thing. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Sister Joanna. In the best thing, Sister Joanna. One, one of my favorites. I, I can't. I, one of my favorites. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble with other folks. So one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, one of my favorites. <laughs> God bless y'all. Amen. Love you. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. He is the best thing. Is Jesus the best thing? Come on. Jesus is the best thing that ever Hallelujah. happened. You put that up there. Jesus. Let the Jesus. world know Jesus is the Jesus. best thing that ever happened Jesus. to me. I'm telling you, you got that new car, you got that new house, you got a new ooh. pool, you got, and just to testify to that, cause everybody think, ooh, that's the best thing that, no, nah. put it on that, Jesus is the, the best, best thing, thing that ever happened to me, Jesus. and then the Bible says, without money and without price, come on, don't cost you absolutely nothing. nothing, that woman at the well, she went there looking, Jesus. and she found something, and she said, oh Jesus. my God, I left my water pot Jesus. because I finally found something to Jesus. quench this thirst. And Jesus is. And, and, and that's what she told him. Look, Jesus is come the best see. thing. I come see Jesus. a man. Told me everything I ever Jesus. did. Now don't just say it and don't mean it. But he didn't judge me. But he's the Jesus. best thing that ever happened to me. Jesus. I, I, Jesus. Took, off, I, I took off my shoes. I took off my wig and I went running. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't wait to tell him. See what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Love you all. You're too much. <laughs>